Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. I'm down giving the fish their evening meal. I'm running a little late. I've been kind of waiting for, waiting in vain for the sun to come out. Because I was thinking, and I, what I'm going to do is give you guys a, a demonstration of the sechi disc that I made. And I was thinking it would work better in bright sunlight. Uh, you'd be able to see on video a little better. But it's been cloudy and raining most of the day. And so that's not going to happen. So this is it here. I'm going to go down to where I can access the water. <coughs> Easily. I'm going to finish feeding these and then, then do the uh, then do the disc thingy. That's all I'm going to give them. Got a little bit left in this bucket. They have started eating a little bit more, but I think that's just because the, the biomass is increasing in the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> I don't think we've uh, been losing them anymore. At least uh, no more than just to the bird. So, this is the Sechi disc. That's the disc part there. Now what I've done is I've, I've color-coded this, and I don't expect any of you to remember, but look, the, the way that it's generally done is just, a, just the disc itself is suspended with a string, and you hold it out into the water, and uh, there's marks on the string, and you take your measurements that way. I don't want to be standing over uh, the edge of this and fall in. Because you have, of course, you have to hold the string, uh, and so it'll hold the disc in the in the water. So, the black and red. Uh, if I can't see the disc and I see black on this red part, we got a serious problem, and the uh, we need to do a water exchange uh, forthwith. Any of this red part here. Uh, that's 30 centimeters uh, is uh, of concern. That means that there's so much algae in the water that it could be depleting the oxygen. Uh, everyone, you know, I don't know, people I guess uh, who, aren't, who aren't used to raising fish, uh, tilapia in particular, because tilapia are a whole different uh, ball of wax, Look, tilapia eat the algae, um, photoplankton, and it's, it's dang near microscopic. And they filter it through their gills. When they breathe, they eat at the same time. So some of you are under the opinion that this green water is not healthy. And that is not the case. It is absolutely healthy. And if you filter it to where it's nice and crystal clear and clean like you're like the aquarium uh, sitting next to your uh, TV in the living room, you're taking their food away. It's not necessary with tilapia to have a uh, clear water environment. In fact, it's just going to end up costing you more money. But there is a, there is a sweet spot. Um, the algae, the photoplankton, does use oxygen. And if it's too thick, if there's too much in the water, uh, there the the 
the green matter, the plant, the algae is using all the oxygen. There's not any left for the fish. So that's why you measure the, uh, what do they call it? Is it turpidity? No, I don't think it's turpidity. Whatever the term is, uh, it's just the clarity of the water. That's what you're measuring. And you can do this for mud as well. It's just clarity of water. That's all you're testing. I'm going to go turn off that circulation pump in a minute. The pond's so deep it's not actually oxygenating anything. So, uh, 30 centimeters to 45 centimeters and being able to see the white part of this disc is the sweet spot. That's the yellow and the white. And the yellow and the red uh, is over 45 centimeters. And for a new pond, you would need to add fertilizer to get more of this algae to grow. Okay? So, what we're looking for, I haven't tested this before, this is all just, uh, you're finding out just like I am. So we're looking for, we want to be able to see this disc down in the water and have the yellow and the white visible. Uh, we definitely don't want to see uh, the black and the red. So here goes. So you can see uh, the greenness of the water, uh, you know, it gets cloudier and cloudier as it goes down and the white turns a bit green. See that? So there we go. So we're right at the danger point right now. I can still see the white down in there. You can still see it. Now I can't. So actually, uh, we're at the water exchange uh, danger point right now. Because in an optimum situation, we could put it down in that deep and still be able to see the white. I can just see it now. I can see it down in there. I don't know if it's coming up on video. I can just see it. And, that's, and it's right at the top of that black mark. So it's actually, you know, we're about a quarter of an inch away from having a problem. So that's how you use a Sechi disc. When you can't see the white part, because the, the, it's so cloudy, there's so much algae, that's when you got a problem. So there it is, that's how you use it. So, uh, and 24 hours ago, we probably were in the danger zone clearly in the danger zone in this pond because I've, I have uh, and even 48 hours ago uh, because I have been doing water exchange I've been uh, I pumped water in it today with the gas pump and the uh, and the electric pump both and this pond has come up let me see I have I do have a visual reference here it's come up about two inches today. So two inches out of say 36. So we did do about a 5% water exchange today. So we were right at the edge this morning and uh, we're a little bit less on the edge right now. Now look, this, this six inches here, uh, that's halfway up the, half. that's 15 centimeters give or take. That's just my, uh, look, I didn't find that in research anywhere. Um, that wasn't anything that was available online. That's just my personal uh, opinion. Uh, if you can't see down in the water six inches, you've got a problem. Uh, I don't know, Tilapia Dave, I'm sure he's got an opinion. Um, I'm sh sure that he does. You know what, I don't know if this water is deep enough in this new pond, I would doubt it. Um, and where would it be deep enough? I guess we can do it in this pond as well. I just, I'm just not thinking it's deep enough.
Yeah, let's see that's down. It's at the bottom right there. I just don't think this water is deep enough to test. And this is actually muddy as well as green over here. Maybe. This is the last part that Tata and I dug out right here. You know, it is a little deeper, but still not deep enough. And that's just, that's muddy there, so that's not going to give me any kind of a result that I want or that I'm looking for, so we're done. So I'm going to bring this down with me every day when I feed and keep testing. I would, I would like to see it in this white and yellow range. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised that it was in, into the into the black and red. Um, it's concerning to me that it was uh, this much of an algae load. Yeah, and that's right at the. Still see it. Still see it. Now cannot. Yeah. So it's right at the. It's right at my personal uh, limit of, of uh, the color of the water. So there you go. That's the Sechi disc, and that's going to be my that's going to be my water clarity bible. Now, you know what I'm going to do before I end this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to feed them tomorrow, and. Uh, I don't know. Really, 36 hours would be the would be the goal. So I'm not going to feed them at all tomorrow. And tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to test again. Probably won't see much of a much of a result. But the next morning, probably uh, should see a a pretty good uh, difference. Uh, because look, the algae grows because of the amount of nitrogen and uh, phosphate in the water. And the amount of fertilizer in the water. And the fertilizer in this water is fish crap. So uh, the less you feed them, the less they crap, uh, the less uh, fertilizer there is in the water. And this is a pretty quick cycle. I mean, uh, it's it, it, 48 hours. If I, if I did not feed these fish at all for a week, this water would be almost crystal clear. Uh, it would be more muddy than it would be green. Um, I don't know if it would be crystal clear, but it, would be, it, w it wouldn't have a green hue to it. Because the fish wouldn't be uh, pooping in it, and it wouldn't be feeding the algae. So, uh, I can adjust a bit... Uh, just by their feed. I can adjust the fertilizer load by adjusting their feed. And that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So uh, they're not getting fed tomorrow. Uh, I've been, uh, they have, for the last four days, they have been back on their feed. Uh, not quite as much as they were before because I don't think the biomass is back up to what it was before they started disappearing. But it's probably 70% of what it was three weeks ago. And I think that's just what, that's just because the fish, the remaining fish have grown and the biomass has increased that way. So it's almost dark. I'm getting out of here. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's the Sechi disc. And uh, I hope you learned something like I did when Dave uh, first suggested this to me. I had no, I had never heard of one of these or used one or knew, knew anything about using one. So. Um, I'm happy to pass on as I learn. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.